Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we are working on a Sweetheart Roadster again. So we got a really good start back into this project in the last video. Uh, I worked on getting this whole entire uh, inner door structure all made and latching and open and shutting. So if you missed that video, definitely check it out. It's more of a broad overview video. We did some other videos on the other side where we really broke it down into like four videos of how I made all that. Um, now that we have that made, I can go ahead and make the skin. So I'm gonna take some patterns off of the other side um, and uh, look back at some of my notes on how I made the, uh, the body lines on that. And then hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have a door skin on here and uh, have everything kind of crimped over or hemmed over. And then we will have a, a complete door finally done for the other side on this car. So let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm kind of treating this whole project uh, as far as the doors go, the second door is like I'm building it off of original uh, or somebody else's work because I forget exactly what everything was. So uh, I'm gonna use some paper pattern. I use just like this body shop paper that's real thin. It's nice because you can easily uh, transfer lines on it. You can lay it over top, rip it, make it move, and then tape it back together um, and then lay it flat again on the metal so you get a good transfer. So um, I have some of these Eastwood stitch weld magnets I like to use. So first thing we'll do is just get a rough piece. finger or a marker, I usually start with my fingernail or a uh, dirty finger and kind of get a line set. And then we can go back and trace it a little better once we have a line that's in there. So That's the top of our body line. body line.
All right, after a bunch of just uh, fine tuning of things, we got the door on and it fits and it opens and it shuts and yeah, we got a whole door, it's crazy. So uh, I was able to successfully read my old uh, work and uh, get a door that uh, opens and shuts and fits, which is pretty cool. So um, this door still needs a little bit of work uh, um, to get everything tuned in really good, but um, at this point, it is, uh, it is pretty good to end the video here. Um, I'm really happy that we are working back on this car again. It's kind of crazy. Um, we are nearing the finish line for major rot repair and, and rust repair on this car. Uh, and we should be on to the fun stuff pretty soon. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, some of these uh, things that I did in the video with this will help you with some of your future projects. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this was a broad overview video. If you wanna really watch like step-by-step -step of everything in a longer form video, um, we will drop the links down below that you can see the videos we did of the first door build, which are very, very much more involved and detailed in those videos. Thanks guys, catch you later.